Hey, Ben Pierceman from Ben's Backwoods here. Today I'm going to show you guys quick and easy ways of making kindling to get your wood stove blazed up like this. So here we are out of the wood pile. I'm going to show you guys two techniques that I use all the time for making kindling for my wood stove uh, using a hatchet. So uh, most firewood that you guys either cut yourself or buy, uh, you're going to end up splitting it down and you're going to have stuff that's uh, maybe splitting halves or splitting quarters. And typically what I do when I want to make kindling off of something like this with a small lightweight hatchet is I'm trying to chop off uh, some of the corners here I, and there's a couple main techniques that I use for chopping off the corners um, keep this uh, your support hand well away so here, some of this is going to depend on uh, the grain of the wood you're using what type of wood you're using um, so what I'll do is I'll throw a chop under the corner here like that and you're either going to cut straight through and knock off a chunk a lot of times you'll knock off half of a piece where it's going to uh, the grains going to run off uh, if I get my axe, uh, my hatchet stuck in here like this, I might uh, give it another chop. Or what I do a lot of times is I might do a little, little prying action. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take that axe and use it just like a fro. Or I'll put it in there and I will pry, pry apart like this. And I'll do a lot of, on really tough stuff, I'll do a combination of prying. And then I might throw another chop and then pry some more. Uh, we'll see if we can do a couple on this one. See if you guys can see this well. Maybe a different, different angle here. So, so I got the hatchet stuck in there. Um, turn the hatchet up here. Pry in action. Pry it. Maybe give it another chop. Maybe you got to get in there and pry it some more. Basically, use the axe like a fro for prying and chopping. And this is how I work through these little corner pieces that I like to use for kindling. Let's see, that piece there is going to run off. And we'll go for a little deeper piece here. So, axe gets stuck. Sometimes a quick pry will pop that off, but a lot of times I'll have to take the, the hatchet then and uh, bury it in there and use it as a fro or kind of a wedge to kind of split stuff like that. Here's another piece of oak here. Uh, sometimes you've got stuff like this hanging off there and I like to Split that stuff off and use that for kindling to start my wood stove. But what I'll try to do here is knock off a corner. And we got stuck. Give it a little pry this way. Sometimes that'll pop it loose. Otherwise, prying this way with your handle vertical uh, works really well. Using it like a furrow, you can do a combination of prying and more chopping to get down in there. Uh, same thing with the other side here. Let's give it a little chop chop the prime action and let's see we'll go a little deeper this one combination of chopping and wedging this thing always be careful where your blade is pointed so that's uh that's how I make a lot of kindling with the hatchet for like my wood stove. That's the technique I use on split firewood. Next I will show you guys what I do for uh, oh, small uh, finger thick, two finger thick uh, uh, saplings. So here is uh, small uh, saplings. This is maybe uh, thumb thick, two finger thick. Uh, this is the smaller, it could be the tops of the trees that you cut down and harvested. Um, I don't usually mess with this stuff with a chainsaw just because by the time you get down, I'd say uh, wrist thick or smaller, uh, this you hit this with a chainsaw, it wants to bounce around on you and it's not very stable. Not a lot of wood here, so a lot of times you, you make a brush pile and you leave this in the woods. Uh, some of these I'll take and, uh, and good, good tops and stack them vertical, hang, you know, lean them up against a tree out in the woods so I can come back and get them later for uh, kindling like this, but, uh, or this could be just dead, standing dead saplings, but this type of stuff, I'll show you a technique with a hatchet to turn this into uh, uh, kindling really quick. 
So what I do is I take this stuff over to my, uh, my stump that I usually split firewood on, and I'm gonna use this stump to make a stable platform and give me a lot of stability. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lightweight hatchet and I wanna cut through in a 45 degree angle. I want the stump backing it up. It's very safe and it makes the chopping through really easy. So I can take this long sapling, feed it through to the lengths I want. Some of this lighter stuff chops right through. Uh, let's see, we get a little heavier. We might need two chops. That one, that one went through. A lot of times too, you're looking for the uh, score and snap. So score and snap would be score on that side, flip it over, 45 degree angle cut, score on, the, score on that side, and then give it a little, a little snap. So score and snap does really well with this type of stuff. This is good, that's good dry oak right there. Give it a 45, rotate it, another 45, and now it'll snap right off. So uh, this is actually faster, I think, than, than getting out using a saw. Uh, you can use this up to decent sized stuff. This is getting a, a bit large here. Sometimes you might have to give it a couple chops there. Rotate it over a couple more chops and bust it right in half. A little more here. This stuff is about uh, two fingers thick. This is getting to be kind of the larger spectrum on, on this technique. But a few chops. It's going right through this stuff. Sometimes you, get a, sometimes you just score it and then snap it like that. So, there's a score and snap. But if you're going to take this down to a smaller size kindling from here, this is about two finger thick stuff. I take the edge of the hatchet and uh, make sure you don't pinch your fingers in here. Uh, you can hold the, the piece of wood against the hatchet handle if you want like that, or you can just hold your hand up there, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. For this technique, I just kind of tap them both together like this, and once it drives in, use that axe like a fro, split that apart. So now I'm taking this smaller stuff here, tap, 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 wedge it apart, and this makes great, fast burning kindling to get your wood stove going. So, Hope you guys enjoy both these techniques. I use them all the time. Thanks for watching.